So in today's video, I'm going to be asking four questions. Question one, can I put this Firefly guitar back together properly and get it playing well? Question two, assuming I can do that, how does the guitar sound? Question three, does this Firefly guitar contain parts from an Epiphone guitar? Question four, do I think this is a good guitar? So the answer to question one, as you can maybe see here in my hand, could I put this guitar back together and get it playing well? The answer to that is yes. Now you may notice something a bit amiss here, but we'll get onto that when we look at the specs of this guitar. So question two, how does it sound? How do these humbucker pickups sound? Now I put together about five minutes of sound samples here, so please bear with me. I tried to put as much in as I could so you can hear what these sound like with clean, low gain, higher gain, and maybe some blues whittling, should you choose to do some blues whittling on a blues guitar. So here are a lot of sound samples of the humbucker pickups on this Firefly guitar.
But here's where I'm looking for some help from Epiphone owners. That looks to me like there's a name in there that's been ground out. So that that's that's a tailpiece. Good quality, I have to say. And if we look at the bridge, again, bridge good quality has got the wire retainer there to hold the saddles in. But look at that. That looks to me like the name Epiphone has been ground out. Do, do you think that's the case? I don't own any modern Epiphone bridges, so I can't say, but I'm looking for help there. So let's look under the hood, as they say, let's remove the scratch plate. The finish is beautiful, that blue sparkle, so let's look at the pickup cavities. I wonder if the pickups have anything written on them. So it's in quite tight there now, the cavities have all got grounding paint as well, shielding paint, which helps, there's no noise from these pickups. Now, see these are in tight, now the neck one just has an N written on it, just there, nothing else apart from that. All the shielding paint and everything. Cavities are quite quite neat, has to be said. N for neck. So I presume that that's what it means. And that means the bridge has a B on it. So I don't know what these pickups are. I have seen things like this. In fact, I've actually bought things like this from Amazon. They just have N and B written on them. Now let's look at the other specs of the guitar. There's a nut width, 42.14 millimeters, the width of the 12th fret, 51.44 millimeters. That is the neck profile of the 1st fret. And then we'll look at the neck profile of the 12th fret. So that's all the neck measurements there. Let's look at the pickups. Bridge 14.52. It's kicking 14.52 out. The neck is 8.24. And then if we go to the middle, middle position is 5.24. 3-2, so it's a very high output bridge pickup. Here's a couple of things I do have to say. The control cavity covers are certainly not the tightest fit, and you can see the gaps um, all the way around these two. Now, in the intro video as well, you saw me with a black control knob. The reason for that is the control knobs that this came with are the flimsiest control knobs I have ever seen. Very, very cheap, very thin in fact, when I tried to take one off, it just virtually crumbled in my hand. So I am going to have to replace these. So I would be aware of that. These are not the greatest quality control knobs. So question four was, do I think this is a good guitar? Well, if you look at the specs of this guitar, it's got stainless steel frets. The fretwork is immaculate. There are no issues whatsoever with this. The truss rod down here at the end of the neck is so easy to adjust. It's not like the old fender necks where you have to take the neck off or anything like that. It's just really easy to get to. There's just like a bar you use. I had to adjust it very slightly and um, because I got this guitar neck posted to me from the US. Um, dead easy to use. The lock and tuners are a very high spec on a guitar in this price range as well. Now the hardware, as we saw in the earlier part of the video, I think this may be Epiphone hardware. Should that be the case then, it's good quality hardware full size pots as well. The wiring is okay, I mean I don't have any issues with it, it's not it's not the neatest wiring I've ever seen but I have no issues. Pots work great, the switch is kind of clunky but it certainly works. So all those things I think make this a really good guitar, it does play really well too. I've done virtually nothing to this, I just slight truss rod adjustment and that was this. But I think one thing lets this down and this is specific to to my ears and my taste. I think in the sound samples, I think these pickups were just a little bit woolly. They just seem to lack something. Now, I guess you could EQ that, so it's treblier as well, but in the video where I did more sort of higher gain riffs, I used my 1981 Hamer Graphic Special, which has vintage DiMarzo PAFs. So you could hear that through the same setting, other pickups, just seem to have more bite and these are very high output pickups as we saw well certainly the bridge one is very high output pickup as we saw when we looked at the specs there it just seems to lack something though i mean it has a lot of power these are loud pickups i had to turn them down a bit when i'm using my kemper because it was overdriving the input 
compared to the usual level that I use. So, so they're high output, but I, th I think they're lacking something. Other people may watch the sound samples, may listen to the sound samples, and think this is a perfect sound for the kind of music I play, for the band I'm in. But to me, I think I'm going to change these pickups just to see if I can bring out more sort of mid and treble tones in this guitar because it's just a great playing guitar but I feel it's been let down by by the pickups. So do I think this is a good guitar? I think this is a great guitar for the money, it really is. Now, I did have to buy this in America. I happened to be in America on holiday anyway. I ordered this at the end of last year. So I did not have to pay any import tax. I brought the body back in my case, the guitar body. I mean, I don't want to start an international instant here. I brought the guitar body back in my case. So I'd had no import duty to pay on that. I posted the neck back. I didn't have any import duty to pay on that either. So if you're buying one of these in the UK and you're getting someone in America to buy it for you, you do have to be aware that you're going to pay about 25% on top of, of what you paid for the guitar and the postage as well. So that's to remember. So, so all in all, yes, I really like this guitar. I think the one thing that's letting it down slightly is the pickups, but other people may think these pickups are fine for their needs, but I'm, I'm going to change these. So for the final part of the video, a quick tune I put together, about two and a half minutes, no widdly widdly lead guitar in this, just uh, just some keyboards and some sounds from this Firefly guitar. As ever folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. Cheers for now. we